Roswell Macmillan presents Tuning In the USA. Today on Tuning In the USA, Susan Stewart is at her parents' home in Riverdale. There is a special reason for her visit today. A newspaper reporter from the Riverdale paper is coming to talk to her. He wants to know about Susan's program to give toys to sick children in hospitals. Susan is excited about the reporter's visit. And his visit will be important to Robbie, too. Mom's not here. She went next door. Well, Robbie, will you answer the door? Please? Come on, Robbie. Please. It's a newspaper reporter. A newspaper reporter? Yes. It's about my program to give toys to children in hospitals. Come on, Robbie. Hurry up. Please. Okay. All right. Hi. Hello. I'm Bill McDonald. Are you here to see my sister? Susan Stewart? Yes. She's here. Won't you come in? I'll call her. Thank you. No need to call anyone. I'm right here. How do you do, Mr. McDonald? I'm fine, thank you. And very pleased to meet you. I see you brought a tape recorder. Do you need to sit at a table, or shall we sit in the living room? In the living room is fine. I made some iced tea. Can I get you a glass? Thank you. That sounds delicious. Why don't you sit in here, and I'll be right back with the tea. May I ask you a question? Of course. Do most reporters use tape recorders in interview situations? Some do. It's a great tool for me. I find it helps me a lot in my work. I can give my readers the exact words from my interviews. And some reporters don't use a tape recorder? That's right. They just take notes. Don't they miss a lot that way? They might miss a word or two, but a good reporter won't ever miss an important idea. I'm thinking about working as a reporter. I write for the school paper. Do you? Well, it's a great job. There are always interesting stories to cover. Here we are. And there are important people to meet. I hope you're talking about me. Are you, Mr. McDonald? Is Susan an important person? <laughs> In this town, she is, Robbie. Really? Sure. She is creating a wonderful program. Those toys will make a lot of sick children very happy. What could be more important than that? Thank you. I want to learn all about it. How did you get the idea? May I turn on the tape? Of course. Well... I was in Chicago at a toy makers convention, and you know that my dad is a doctor for children, a pediatrician. Well, an idea came. Let's look at one way to ask for something. Listen. Mom, can you get the door? Mom, can you get the door? In other words, Mom, will you answer the door, please? To family or friends, we often say, Can you get? Here's another example. Can you get the phone? Now, you try it. You're in the shower. The telephone rings. What do you say? Can you get the phone? Yes, I'll get it. Today, we looked at the question, can you get something? I'll talk to you later. And now, Act Two.
this time on Tuning In the USA, Susan and Robbie Stewart are meeting for lunch. They meet at a restaurant that serves food to people in a hurry, a fast food restaurant. Susan is excited. Her program to give toys to children in hospitals is a success. And one reason for that success is a newspaper story about her idea. Some young readers read the story and sent Susan a letter, and Susan wants Robbie to read it. Here you go. Two hamburgers, water, and a soda. Thank you. Next. You've been standing here quite a while. What can I get you? Oh, nothing, thanks. I'm waiting for someone. My sister. Maybe she forgot your meeting. No, she just called me this morning. She was all excited about something. She really wanted to meet me. You want to order something now? Well... Those burgers smell really good, but no thanks. I'll wait for her. She'll be here soon. Next. Hi, Robbie. Sorry I'm late. I had a business appointment this morning. It ran late. I'm sorry. Let me buy you lunch. Great. I'm starving. How about a large burger, some fries, and a cola? Okay, I'll get it. Oh, I have something to show you. What is it? It's a letter. Are you folks ready? Yes, we are. Go on, Ravi, read it. There's a free table by the window. I'll meet you there with the food. What'll it be, miss? Um, we'll have two large hamburgers, one large and one small bag of French fries, and two colas. What size colas? One large, one medium. Okay, that's two burgers, large and small fries, large and medium colas. That's 520. Out of 10, here's your change. 480. Thank you. Next. Here's your burger. And here's your letter. You should be proud. And all this happened because of that article? Isn't it great? Did you read this part? We are a local Girl Scout troop. We read the newspaper article about your idea. Yeah, I know. They want to help with your hospital program. They are going to organize other troops of Scouts to visit with the children in the hospitals. Well, what do you think? <laughs> This burger tastes great. Come on, Robbie. Not the burger, the letter. I think it's totally amazing. What's amazing? That I created the program? Or that it's working? What's so amazing? Writing an article for a newspaper. It really works. There are many ways to talk about money. Often, we just use the numbers. We don't always say the words dollars and cents. That's 520. Out of 10, here's your change. 480. Hey, you said 520. Is that $520? No, $5.20. No, $5.20. 520 and you gave me ten dollars so your change is four dollars and eighty cents 480 okay so how much is one hamburger 125 one dollar and 25 cents I'm going to eat now hmm there are many ways to talk about money we hope you'll join us next time on Maxwell Macmillan's Tuning In the USA.